Well, I'm here with uh, my friend, John Price, uh, Dr. John Price, superintendent of the city of North Chicago public school system. And, you know, John, as I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking to myself, um, gosh, how long have we known each other now? It's been over a year. Over a year. Yes. And, uh, you know, and I was thinking to myself, this is one of the great things that's come out of the pandemic experience um, is getting to know you oh, and you. Uh, getting to have this partnership established with the city of North Chicago public school system. And so uh, on a personal level, I'm just I'm very thankful for it. I always enjoy our visits yeah. and um, you inspire me. You inspire a lot of people. Uh, I think you're a tremendous blessing to uh, this community. And our church is very proud to partner with you. And our district that we're a part of is very proud to partner with you. And I know a little bit about you, but um, I was thinking, uh, you know, one way to maybe help people get to know you a little bit would be to know a little bit about your origin story. And uh, so, <laughs> what, you know, uh, when, when boys are boys, you know, oftentimes they have like favorite comic books or, you know, action heroes. So when you were growing up as a kid, what was your favorite comic book or action hero? Or... Uh, I'm, I'm a Star Wars kid. Okay. I'm, I'm a child of, of, uh, of the George Lucas era of Star Wars. Yeah, I remember uh, 1977, five years old, uh, going with my mom to see to see Star, Star Wars. Wars, and I don't know where was my brother packed? was, but I I got to go with yeah. with with mom, and it just absolutely blew my mind. Um, but the favorite comic book in my family is Calvin and Hobbes, and that's that's really though due to my son. He he's he kind of uh, is a Calvin and Hobbes lover. It's a great humor. Uh, uh, so just great great yeah. humor. Um, but yeah, yeah, no kid of the uh, Star Wars era for sure. Yeah, I remember seeing Star Wars the first that, that first movie also, and we were living in St. Louis at the time. Okay, and uh, yeah, that movie theater was packed. Packed. It was. Yeah, I was hooked. Hooked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great stuff! Great childhood. Yes, we were growing. I was growing up in in San Diego. My dad is uh, now retired, but was United Methodist pastor. Um, so we had moved from um, San Diego to Hawaii and then back to San Diego. Um, and uh, so I you know, grew up in the church, but my mom was a church musician uh, yeah. most of her career. Um, sometimes doing teaching and doing um, you know, uh, church music on the weekends. Uh, different churches than my dad, uh, by intention. Uh, they both had their own careers. Um, so I really you know, grew up in the church and, and was very involved in uh, district and conference uh, yeah. level youth leadership in, in California. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we just had our district uh, convention last week and um, I was very uh, blessed to be able to uh, meet with our synodical president, uh, Matthew Harrison. And so he um, he asked me, he said, so what's what's new in your zoo? <laughs> and, and so I you know, kind of laughed and I told him about uh, our partnership, Faith on the Fairway, the scholarship fundraiser, um, and um, the results of that from last year, and uh, the the purpose of it, which you know I, I I'd love for you to share with everybody a little bit about you know what the the purpose of the scholarship uh, is and how that all works and everything, because I think it's just very smart the way you've got that all set up with the relationship with the with the college, and so Matt Harrison said uh, that you know I should get back with him and. And uh, talk with him because he thought there could be some mercy money uh, to fund some scholarships. Mm -hmm. And so, so we're going to use this video in our Facebook broadcast. And also, I'm going to send personally send a copy of it to the president of our church body. And um, we'll just uh, pray for that to go well. So, um, so could you share, John, a little bit about the uh, the scholarship and how you've got that set up? Can you share some of the details with that? Sure, happy to. Uh, but but first, I just you know the the partnership with with your church and Lake Forest has just been such a blessing for our community and for the scholarship. But it really just, it it it's really been I mean for a community um, to make a, a long term commitment to get involved in the lives of our young people. We were talking about one young lady who you've had a, um, you know really prayed for and had a lot of support for over the past year. Um, it's it's really it's really special. So. 
this is more than um, I, I think on behalf of the church and on behalf of, this is this is more than a fundraiser. Yeah. Um, you know, this has really become I think a real partnership and looking for ways to be really supportive of the community. So thank you. Yeah, you because uh, that's your leadership and, and and vision of seeing something something more in our kids than sometimes uh, people give them credit for. So um, so thank you. The the scholarship, to answer your question, um, we did a lot of study and we did a lot of research and we've based our scholarship after a model that um, started in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Mm. And it was called the Kalamazoo Promise. Uh, the big difference is they started with a $500 million <laughs> gift and got to build a program. We start with the program and, and you know, <laughs> we got the gifts afterwards. Um, so we, we have based it on a Promise um, scholarship and our vision is to make whatever our kids want to do when they graduate um, cost-free for them. So whether that's four-year university on the other side of the country, um, four-year university here in Lake County, two-year university certificate program, and enrolling in the military um, or enlisting in the military, straight to work, whatever that next step is, we want them to be ready. Yep. Uh, we want them to be empowered to make that choice for themselves, and we want it to be cost-free. Our first program is the Warhawk Lancer Scholarship, which is what um, you know, Faith has, has been able to support. So it's a special relationship with the College of Lake County, our local community college, where a lot of our kids go and where a lot of our kids graduating from North Chicago High School have been going for years and years. Um, it's the number one uh, destination for our students. So we partnered with them. We wrote an MOU. So our scholarship is what's called a last dollar scholarship. So we take advantage of all of the kids' federal and state financial aid first, and then we pick up the difference, whatever that is. So for some of our kids, it's zero. And for some of our kids, it's the full cost of, of tuition. And we don't care. We don't ask when they apply. Um, because uh, not, uh, not every school has that relationship, right, or that understanding. When, when funding comes in, then dollars can get sort of backed out. That's how, unfortunately, that's typically how scholarships work. If right. you give a kid $1,500 to go to CLC, well, um, or any other school, well, they get $1,500 from you and CLC will back out $1,500 right. from, from their grants. It doesn't, on the long term, it doesn't really help as much. That's right. So this special partnership with CLC, um, and you know, thanks to them for their partnership in this as well, um, allows us to make that promise that yeah. two years for free, um, we pay for all tuition, all fees, all books, um, we also pay for counseling. Um, so our senior counselor from the high school follows them uh, for the two years. They have monthly meetings uh, to keep, help keep our kids on track and to be aware of when they hit bumps, um, like the young lady we've talked about. Yeah. Um, and also we give them a cash stipend. Uh, we give them $2,300 a year for gas, food. Um, Expensive. Almost all of our scholars are living at home. Yeah. Almost all of them are responsible for helping their families with expenses, so we help them with their expenses as well. You know, free college just isn't enough. Right. Um, otherwise, they're working full time and they're going to school full time, and that's a recipe for yeah. for difficulty. So we try and help out there. So that's what our scholarship covers, um, and it is unique in Lake County right now. We hope that this is a model that that grows, and uh, we're getting ready to graduate our first group. Of uh, uh, five Warhawk Lancers are getting ready to graduate in, in just over a month, um, May fifth. Pastor, if you'd like to come and have have dinner with us, we're going to uh, have a celebratory dinner with them. So you, you're absolutely invited. We'd love to have you out. I'd love to be there. Um, we're going to give them some cords to wear That's and some awesome. some gifts for their graduation. Um, and our success is is amazing. Um, looking at the success of our students, all students of color, yeah. two year graduation rate. Um, you know, we're going to look at an 80% two-year graduation rate for our first cohort. That's fantastic. Uh, which is great news. Yeah. Which is great news for our kids. So we start Can I just hear something with Please, you? Please, yeah. So, you know, we go prayer walking uh, here in North Chicago mm -hmm. and uh, just asking families how we can pray for them, how we can care for them. And one of the things that we, I, we share with families when we talk with them is about the scholarship program. And I'm telling you, John, the moms and dads that you talk to, when uh, they just think it's fantastic what you're doing. They're, they're really, there's just a lot of respect and support. Um, you're encouraging a lot of people. Yeah, that's great. I, I, you know, what if every house that, that you visited, what if every house came with a promise of free college? Right. That's, yeah. that's the hope. Yeah. You know, that's, what, that's what we're working towards. So it's a long journey. 
Um, it's great to have people walking side by side. So that's where your, your congregation has really come in. So John, uh, how long, tell everybody a little bit about how long you've been here and uh, the process, because this was not in place, this scholarship Right. was not in place. So share with everybody a little bit about like how long you've been here, uh, your journey, maybe a little bit about your journey to get here, but then you know, how long you've been here and then your discovery process uh, of putting this concept together. Um, so this is my fifth year. Uh, you mentioned that we've been working yeah. on this for, for a year and a half. It kind of feels like dog years, at least during the pandemic. Yeah. It seems like it's been much longer. Uh, but this is my fifth year as a superintendent um, in, in North Chicago. It's my first uh, superintendency. And it's really coming into year two uh, in partnership with our board chair, Mrs. Dora King, um, you know, lifelong resident of North Chicago. Um, her great granddaughter is in one of our schools now um, as, a, as a first grader. Um, that, and, and she and I were talking, um, really coming to the realization that a year two of, of our partnership together, bringing in a new team, replaced half of the principals, brought in a new district leadership team, um, superintendent, deputy superintendent, chief academic officer, HR, finance, all of those positions had changed over um, along with half of our principals, um, that it, it wasn't going to be enough. Yeah. That our kids were going to need more than we could do pre-K to 12. So we have a vision, we have a mission, we're making progress on, on having just uh, you know a, a, a fantastic pre-k to 12 school system for our kids but for them to have equitable access to the opportunities that kids in lake forest have we realize we're going to have to start earlier and we're going to have to follow them later yeah and so from that uh, realization that a great school district which is still a work in progress um, that that great school district wasn't going to be enough came this idea of, of starting a foundation so um, we started work um, went through the tax documents, wrote the bylaws, had our opening meeting, you know, filed the paperwork, got all of that legal services donated um, from, our, from our law firm. We still get in-kind services and, and, and from a lot of our partners that we started the North Chicago Public Education Foundation. And this has been our first project. Our first passion project was what can we do to help more of our kids take that first step cost-free uh, to them? So um, this is where we started. So we um, kind of took a year to get set up and going, which felt really like a really, really long time to take a year just to get things off the ground, but that's what it took. Um, and also started developing some support. Um, so we, we get support from a number of family foundations, some private philanthropy, private So donors. what year was it that you, you first started receiving support? So it would have been in the 2019 um, school year that we first started receiving support 2020 was the first group of students. The high school class of 2020 was the first group where we sent kids to CLC. And then 21 was our second year. And then this will be our third. That's fantastic. Yeah. So we're working on expanding every year. And the gift from Faith on the Fairway last year, in and of itself, covers two full scholarships uh, for two full years um, for our scholars. So um, that's helping us on this pathway to expand. For Warhawk Lancers, we think 10%. If we, can, if we can offer 20 scholarships, that would cover the need for CLC, and then we'll see what's next. That's fantastic. Um, and go from there. And, we, and so um, we just had our first foursome sign up. Great. Yeah. And so this is, you know, being oh, our wow. second year doing this, we have some advantages over, you know, our first year. And, uh, and so, yeah, nine, uh, six months out, we already have our first foursome, and they're not church members. So that's fantastic. I mean, we still want church members to sign up. They better reserve their spots soon. That's right. They don't want it to run out. That's of right. Space. Yeah. And uh, I have it on pretty good authority that we're going to have uh, Ryan Sandberg. Uh, oh, I thought you were going somewhere else. Oh, I no. Know that I was going to play this year. I knew you were oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that we have you in front of the camera here. <laughs> You, you think you might give it a? Of course, of course. Yes. Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. And so cool uh, you know that's okay. And uh, for Christmas, I got a drone, and so I've talked to uh, Gabe um, out out at uh, Foss Park, Foss Park. and uh, and so I, I said, you know, I've got a drone. I'd love to come out and shoot some drone footage of the park, uh, the golf course there. And he said, oh, that's great. And I, and I said, you know, uh, I'd just like to be able to use it for the 
school promotional. He said, that's fine. I said, I'll give you whatever we shoot. You can use it for the... Oh, great. Yeah, they can put on their yeah. website or whatever. So we're going to, you know, spring's officially here, and it'll actually get here at some point. And uh, we'll get out and we'll shoot some drone footage. So I'm just excited to fly the drone. and Any excuse. Any excuse, Any right? Any excuse to get yeah. the drone up there. Yeah. So. Um, and then uh, I think we may have um, Ryan Sandberg, Cubs. Yeah. Hall yeah. of Famer. Hall yeah. of Famer. Yeah. Uh, donating a um, autographed jersey. Nice. That's and, great. And we have something else possibly in the works with him for this, too. So just very excited about that. And uh, so then uh, just to make sure everybody knows, this year our keynote speaker will be our district president. I like to call him our bishop, uh, Alan Buss. And uh, so he's the ecclesiastical supervisor for 200-something churches, 90-something schools, technically the university and the hospital, Lutheran Hospital mm -hmm. also. Um, but anyway, he's going to be our keynote speaker, and I'm going to be doing a video with him, and hopefully Sarah can be a part of helping that too. <laughs> and, uh, and then we're going to put that out to our churches and ministries here in northern Illinois to encourage them to send golfers and direct support, um, and then also like items for the silent auction as well. Um, do you want to just talk a little bit about the website people can go to directly to, to give to the scholarship? Sure, thank you. Right. Um, our website is ncpe.foundation. Um, we're in the process of upgrading it, but it's, it is live. You can go now, and, and uh, in the next couple months it'll look even better, but ncpe dot foundation is our website where people can give right now that's awesome yeah yeah and then i've got lined up for us uh for next year our keynote speaker will be the president of concordia seminary in st louis which is our biggest mm -hmm. seminary and has over 400 students in it it's a great seminary it's where i graduated from oh yeah. and uh so tom yeah. eggers is the president and he and i golf together as classmates and he has got a hysterical story, and so do I, about golfing together with one of our professors. And so he's going to be our keynote speaker then next year. So we've got our keynote speakers okay. lined out. For two years. Two wow. years, yep. And, uh, and it'll be nice to have him as our keynote speaker because that will raise visibility within our church body at large of this fundraiser. So yeah. that, that should yeah. be helpful, too. Well, I, I think for... for the, the broader church community, if, if I may, I think there's a couple of great things, reasons to get involved. And one would be to support you and your church's ministry and our kids in North Chicago. I think the other reason is just is to look at the model of ministry that, that you and your congregation are leading. Um, because there's no reason why this couldn't be happening in, in other communities. I know you did this, we talked about your work in Jersey City. Yeah. Um, you've done this work in other places. And so I think that's another reason for people to come have a great day of golf, yeah. yes, but also take a look at it. Take a look, um, you know, about how you and, and the congregation and faith have, have done this. Yeah, um, it's amazing. Um, just exceed just in, in one year what's been accomplished, and then already now planning out for the next two. So it's a great model of ministry of, of hands-on ministry. Um, that also, you know, it's, it's quite a bit of fun, too. It is a lot um, of fun. And making a real difference. Yeah. You know, John, it would be interesting to see, like, if there were church leaders from, like you said, from other communities who'd want to hear from not a church worker, but, like, you know, even, if, like, from your perspective, you could share with them, hey, if you're thinking about doing this, here's some things that, you know, were helpful in Jim and I as we did this, you know, and here's some things just to give you a heads up that you might want to make, be aware of as you're going out and talking with people. Because um, I, I think you're right. I think it's something that um, could could help other communities, and I think we all want the same thing. We all we all want these uh, children to do well, and as Christians, we have an obligation to serve our neighbor, and so we should be out looking for opportunities to serve mm -hmm. and just to help where the mm -hmm. needs are. So. Yeah, uh, let's see. So, Nick, our, so our youth worker is connecting with uh, your social workers, and he's, I think he's having great visits with them. Oh, great. Yeah. Good. And uh, he's uh, had some uh, retired folks come. Uh, your social workers have, connect, have sort of set it up where um, then our, some retired folks would come and talk with some of the students about careers and try to encourage them and answer okay. questions. Yeah. And, you know, retired people love to talk about what they did. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just another example of finding ways for 
aspects of your community to plug in with aspects of our community and realize that we're all one community. We are one community. Um, so all those different ways that, that Faith Lutheran has been able to plug into uh, North Chicago have been great. Yeah. Uh, so we have we have worked hard to stay in touch with uh, our uh, people who were part of the fundraising last year. Yeah, we've sent letters and communications, and so that's gone well. Um, we've talked about within our fundraising team uh, that we would like to increase. We'd like to see an increase of about ten percent. Uh, of course, we'll bring whatever we can bring. You know, we'll we'll take it, take whatever we can take. You know. Um, wh what are uh, some things maybe that you'd be, you uh, think back on from last year that were sort of highlights in your mind about the uh, the event or the whole process? Or well, I think uh, one of the highlights was hearing some of your golf stories. So I would recommend those. Uh, that's that was one of the highlights as well. I heard a couple of your stories. Um, but I think getting our scholars out uh, in the golf course, um, it we, that was neat. Um, so having them help with registration, yeah. they were helping at a couple of the holes. I'd like to see that yeah. expand. Um, and none of them had ever been out on the golf course. That's great. You know, so, in North Chicago. Yeah. So it was just fun to talk with them about like what is this crazy sport called golf? Like what do you do? Yeah. Uh, and uh, they just they had such an, a great opportunity. You know, you were able to connect with one of our scholars who yeah. who's interested in Air National Guard. Yeah. And I was able to tell her afterwards, like, that's what this is about. Yep. Networking, meeting people, learning from other people's experience. Um, and so for our kids to get opportunities to build that professional network, to meet people, talk with people who are you know, working, retired, had military experience, had professional experience, um, and just to be in that situation to present themselves, you know, is, is such a great, you know, kind of soft skill development. Yep. So they had a lot of fun. Um, I remember Diane was out uh, helping with registration, showed up first thing in the morning to help out. She had a ball. Um, Yadira came a little bit later in the day, you know, going on the golf cart with her yeah. through the course. Um, so we'd like to get more of our students out and, and really, I think it's also meaningful for, for you yep. and, um, and for your congregation to really you know, meet our kids yes. and see the impact of seeing that college freshman um, who without the kind of support that you're providing wouldn't, wouldn't be able to be there. Uh, so, John, thank you for taking the time uh, to share. And, uh, you know, maybe one last thing. Um, I know I remember on the golf course you uh, shared this vision, and, and I think there, there's been some real steps made towards this of uh, setting up a pathway for the high school students who want to become public school teachers to then do that, and uh, you're providing leadership of that, and then and I'm not going to steal your thunder. And then there's a part then that comes after they graduate. Can you share with everybody? This is pretty kind of cool. Yeah, we just um, we were just able to make our public announcement. But starting with our class of 22, uh, we'll be able to offer the pathway of the Warhawk Lancer scholarship. But a new pathway, the kind of the second piece, is that we have uh, seven uh, graduates in the class of 22 that are interested in becoming teachers or yeah. exploring that. And so uh, next year they'll work for us. Um, they'll work for us in our preschool, um, and they'll go to CLC cost-free. Yeah. So they'll be um, starting their career, earning a full-time wage, earning benefits. Um, they'll get paid release time to go to their classes at CLC, and then we'll have a, a donor. We have a donor who's going to be donating that. Um, it's the same cost, actually, of the Warhawk Lancer, $12,000 a year. Um, so they'll get free college. So um, in two years, they'll come out with an associate uh, of applied sciences and early childhood education that will allow them to take a higher paying job in the district and or go to a four year university and or become a lead teacher in a private daycare setting, whatever they desire. So it's really exciting to have, you know, some of our best and brightest stay right here and work yeah. with our youngest. Yeah. Um, so it's just uh, that's been about a two year um, dream to have that um, happen. So we're really we're very proud of that and, and just ecstatic for our kids who want to be teachers. Yep, um, and so inspirational for the next generation of kids coming up to see, oh, my teacher is somebody who grew up in this community and went to college and has a professional job. And, right. Yeah, that's Looks wonderful. like me, yep. came from this community, yep. had a dream. Might and, know and my I'm, parents. Exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah, and it's a small knit, you know, it's a small, yep. you know, tight knit community here yep. in North Chicago. So those relationships are, are powerful. Yeah, yeah, really supportive. 
Thank you, John. Thank you, Pastor. Yep. It's good to be with you. Likewise. God's blessings, guys. Good night. Good night.